What's going on guys, Jake here with Rough Golf and today we are reviewing the Fusion Evo Puma Golf Shoe. After two long years, my old Etonic golf shoes just no longer cut the mustard, so I decided to invest in a new set of golf shoes. Now my Etonic golf shoes were a very cheap purchase, they only cost me around 40 bucks and they performed fairly well. I even considered keeping them, but I found that it was very difficult to find replacement spikes and the replacement spikes were almost as much as a new set of golf shoes, so I just decided to go ahead and move into a different brand. That's why we are talking about Puma today. So I'm gonna be doing an unboxing just to show you guys what the shoe looks like. Then we're gonna go out on the course and talk about comfort, traction, stability, and weatherproofing. I wanna do an all around on this golf shoe and make sure that it is a good fit for me and for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open these up and take a look. They are a black and white color scheme. Uh, they have a lug style um, tread on the bottom. This is the first time I've actually played a golf shoe without a dedicated spike, be it plastic and or metal. Um, Puma also has this, uh, I don't know if it's trademarked or not, but like this power strap here, which they say will provide um, better uh, fit for your foot and uh, a more stable base uh, for your swing. So at first look, these are pretty understated, which is exactly what I wanted in a golf shoe. I didn't want anything flashy or fancy, just basic, good performing golf shoes. Um, they are pretty light as well. They're, they're not very heavy, so that's good, especially if you're a walker and uh, you wanna make sure that your legs don't tire out from super heavy golf shoes. I do like the fact that they don't have metal spikes or plastic spikes, and you could you know, even use these as possibly uh, like a pair of tennis shoes if you were gonna maybe go out to eat after you played your round of golf. You didn't have to change shoes in the parking lot, which uh, sometimes that can be a hassle. Um, the one thing that concerns me is there's no mention of how efficient these are at waterproofing, so I am a little bit concerned about that, but the shoes feel light. They've got a nice mesh pattern here, so they should be fairly breathable out there on the course. I don't know if you guys can see the, um, the little insert here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, so, oh, it says enjoy golf. That is so nice of them. It's got like a little ankle cushion here, and uh, it actually feels really nice. So I'm, I'm interested to see how that will perform out on the golf course. And I paid $55 tax total and all for these bad boys. Bought them off of eBay from a guy called Carl's Golf Land. Uh, super nice guy and um, the shoes are excellent and they are truly authentic Puma so no knockoff here. Now I chose Puma because I've had Puma tennis shoes in the past and they fit my feet very well and I believe that their golf shoes will as well. Now they do have this power strap here, this uh, strap that goes around kind of the laces run through and it's just supposed to provide some extra uh, stability throughout the uh, shoe and in your golf swing. So I'm interested to see how that will work. I'm gonna go test these out on the course. I'm gonna see um, how they perform under normal conditions. I'm gonna hit the driving range, uh, play a few holes with it. I normally ride a cart, so I don't do a ton of walking, but uh, I'm gonna try to um, you know really put these to the test and see how they hold up. So, so far hitting with the Puma shoes feels great. I've got a lot of traction, a lot of stability, which uh, for a spikeless shoe, I was impressed because I've never played spikeless shoes before, but so far I'm liking them. See if we can't just go ahead and send one right up the fur way. Kind of got a cross breeze here. Straight, but up the left side of the fairway. It's looking for green side, baby. Carry, carry. Carry, go baby, go. Ah, just off the edge of the short game, man. Gotta work on it. So, so far, these Puma shoes have just been awesome. They are leaps and bounds better than my old Etonic shoes that I had, which uh, they're my backups. They're still in my truck, but rocking these Pumas, super comfortable. Uh, Fusion Evo got that uh, foam Fusion sole. They're super comfortable, man. I'm, I'm digging them. And the traction's good. I mean, can I really have gotten good golf shoes for 50 bucks? I don't know. So far, first hole, I'm really digging them, y'all. All right, let's see if we can't get up and down for par. Go, baby, go. Oh, is that going in? Is that going? Oh, dude. Whew, I was like two inches from going in. 
Now, one place I think you can really tell if golf shoes are gonna work for you is on the green. You notice the pressure points, zero pressure points so far with these Pumas. Now I'm just breaking them in. So far they feel great, good traction, good stability through my different stances, driver, wedge, putter. Let's see if we can't uh, go ahead and make par here. Ah, no dice, no dice. Starting off with a bogey, that's all right. I'll take that on a blustery day. I mean, you guys can see my shirt blowing. It's crazy windy out here. All right, teeing off on the second hole here. Again, these Pumas, man, they just, they feel great. Super comfortable, and I'm loving them. Look at this, I'm gonna do a little dance for you. Huh? I can even heel toe in them. Ain't that great? Yes. These Pumas, man, so they're just feeling great. Uh, in all hitting positions, putting, driving, wedge shots here. Got one into the green, 125 yards. So a little short on that one. That wind is a little bit redonkulous. So far, really liking the shoes. Very comfortable, but got one issue. Not so sure that they're breathable. And I'm a little worried about, uh, you know, sweaty feet. Nobody likes that. So uh, that may be the one downside to these otherwise fantastic Puma shoes. So we're on hole two here. It's about 76 degrees. It is a little breezy. And uh, my feet are getting slightly toasty. Oh, lip out. So I'm on hole number three with testing out these Puma Fusion Evo golf shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera down for a little while and I'll join you guys after nine holes and let you know what my final thoughts are for these Puma golf shoes. See you in a bit. All right, so I just finished my nine holes with the Puma Fusion Evo and I absolutely love them. They are solid in every uh, position, whether I'm hitting the driver, the wedge, on the putting green. They've got great comfort. Um, brand new out of the box, first nine holes out and you know, hardly any break in time. Feet are not hurting or anything like that. They're not uncomfortable at all. The one downside I will say is the breathability is not great. I'd like to have a little more breathability in the shoe, but for $50, I think it's a super win, way better than the Atonics. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing in them in the 2023 season. Guys, go check out the Puma Fusion Evo shoes. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on swinging.